Hey, my name is Bart and I have a question. Do you notice anything different about me today? Huh? Yes, it's true. I do have a bad hair day. We've all had to overcome some kind of adversity during the coronavirus lockdown. And of course, everyone has their own unique story of adversity to tell. But I'm here to tell you about one man's story of having to deal with a thousand moths that hatch from cocoons, as he was not able to sell them to his regular customers during the lockdown period. Meet Bart Coppins, who I've already done a story on a while ago and referred to him as the Caterpillar Man, as he has some amazing and alien looking caterpillars in his collection. Bart is a moth breeder and conservationist who supplies cocoons to butterfly farms and zoos. But during the lockdown, all the farms and zoos who usually take his cocoons were shut down. So Bart was stuck with them all, with no customers to take them off his hands. After a while, they started hatching, and before long, all 1,000 cocoons had hatched. In case you're wondering why you don't see 1000 moths in any part of the video at the same time, it's because the moths did not all hatch at the same time, and this particular species of moth, which is a Philippine giant atlas moth, only lives for two weeks, so you only get to see a portion of the living moths at any one time. But unfortunately, all 1000 moths did hatch and die after they lived their two week lifespan. Bud kept all 1000 moths that hatched in his house during this two week lifespan, and in case you're wondering why he didn't simply release the moths into the wild after they hatched, Bart said he did not want to release a foreign insect into the local ecosystem. And it's true, I do have a lot of moths. Just check out my channel, I have over a thousand videos of the species I breed. However, this situation is a bit exceptional, because this is more than I can breed. And usually I don't do this. And this situation is only because I'm stuck with uh, too much cocoons because of the coronavirus situation which has shut down the market and I think it's important for the re respect that we have for the animals themselves that you don't hoard them beyond what you are capable of of one person and this here it looks beautiful and it, it is beautiful I'm really enjoying this to be honest usually I share these with customers with other hobbyists I make sure to distribute them and I think it's selfish to hoard animals, especially if it's for views. Now here's a bit of a weird fact Bart told me. These moths have no mouth and cannot eat. They only live to pair up and reproduce, and two weeks later, run out of energy and die. Now to give you an idea of the financial loss of all these moths, Bart usually sells each cocoon for about $4, so it ended up costing him around $4,000 in losses after they all hatched. Bart said, from a financial perspective, it was definitely a tragic loss. But that being said, I was also very happy to watch so many moths hatch in my own living room. Normally, I don't get to see so many of them hatch at the same time, because my job is to sell and ship them to butterfly farms and zoos. But because I was stuck with so many of them during the lockdown, I was able to enjoy all 1000 of them hatching myself. But on a positive note, they did end up laying a lot of eggs, so I can always breed more so I kind of have mixed feelings about it. Let's just say, it was bad for my wallet, but good for my heart. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.